Hola, mis calados y hermanos in Cristo Jesus. Today, in spite of St. Dominic's feast day, we are going to talk about the powers of the rosary. You know what, really recently around our country, there has been some crazy things happening. And um, in my opinion, and probably fact, it is caused by the devil. So I got to thinking, hey, what can I do as an individual to combat this peacefully and out of love? And through some divine inspiration, the answer was the rosary. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, all my facts are coming from this book, The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfiat. So here's the origin of the rosary. In 1214, Holy Mother Church received the rosary. Um, it was given to the church by St. Dominic, who received it from the Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, as a powerful means of converting the Albarigines. Seeing the gravity of his people's sins getting in the way of him converting the Albarigines, he withdrew into the forest and prayed for three days and three nights. He was so disciplined in the body, he became lacerated and fell into a coma. From there, Our Lady appeared to him accompanied by three angels. This is kind of how their conversation went. Our Lady said to Dominic, Dear Dominic, do you know which weapon the Blessed Trinity wants to use to reform the world? Oh, my Lady, answered St. Dominic, you know far better than I do, because next to your Son, Jesus Christ, you have always been the chief instrument of our salvation. Then Our Lady replied, I want you to know that in this kind of welfare, the battering ram has always been the angelic psalter, which the foundation stone of the New Testament. Therefore, if you want to reach these hardened souls and win them over to God, preach my psalter. There are plenty of good reasons to pray the rosary, including the devotion to the Blessed Mother, the exposed graces, healing from sin, and even saving us at the hour of our death during our particular judgment. For there is a story of how the rosary outweighed a man's sins. Here are five reasons why to pray the rosary. To honor the three persons of the most holy blessed trinity. To honor the life, death, and glory of Jesus Christ. To imitate the church triumphant to help the member of the church militia, and to lessen the pains of the church suffering, to imitate the three divided groups of the Psalms, the purgative life, the illuminated life, and the united life, to give graces and abundance in our lifetime, peace at our death, and glory in eternity. And with that, brothers and sisters, I wish that God may bless you